Hey guys, it's Graham. Welcome back to my weekly Amazon video. In this video, I decided to just focus on product research. Um, it's something that a lot of people have trouble with, and I know that some people don't like to um, use Jungle Scout for the product research. So in this video, I will be using the Chrome extension. However, I won't be using the web app. Um, however, I will say that I think that if you haven't used Jungle Scout before, um, using their web app and Chrome extension is actually the best way to really understand what goes into a good product. So if you haven't used the web app before, I definitely recommend at least one month of that because it really starts to show you the type of products you should be looking for. And then after that, you'll at least have the skills needed to actually be able to find products without using the Jungle Scout web app. So uh, as always, I link it down below. Um, I appreciate if you guys use my affiliate link. However, the Chrome app that I'm going to be using is a must own. Um, it's just, there's no replacement for it and it saves you so much time. It's only $100 and then it's useful for the rest of your life. So I see no reason why everyone watching this video should not already own that, um, but let's get into it. So. Um, firstly, I want to say that when I decided to start investing and actually realizing that putting money in upfront or spending the extra dollars here or there results in more profit is when I actually started to be successful. So at the very start, I was like, you know what? I don't want to spend money on Jungle Scout. Um, I don't want to spend extra to make my products even better than they could be. But once I started doing that, I saw way more money and profit come in. So um, I guess a good lesson there is just be willing to spend the extra money because it'll come back to you several times over in return. So uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just on Amazon.co.uk. Um, so I thought I'd just try out a different market for once. This isn't one that I'm very heavily invested in. But what I want to do is just show you guys how quickly and easy you guys can find a product. And I want to prove to you that you don't need to find that perfect product. I know a lot of people are struggling with actually finding a product that they feel comfortable with investing in. And really what it comes down to is just finding a product that fits a few criteria, but it doesn't have to be the best product in the world because as long as you market it and launch it properly, you can pretty much make any product successful, no matter how competitive or tough it is. Um, the only thing is that with more competitive products, you're going to need to invest more upfront in terms of promotions and stuff like that. So basically I haven't done anything in advance of this. I am trying to do it as organically as possible. I am just going to look through the amazon.co.uk website and see if I can find any good products. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to do these products myself, so if any of you guys want to steal any of the ideas, go ahead. But um, keep in mind that if a bunch of you go after one product that I point out as a good product, you're probably all going to make the niche competitive. So maybe think twice before uh, all deciding on the same product here. So yeah, uh, I'll just edit out the, the slow and boring parts and um, show you guys basically the highlights of the next half an hour of me searching through products. So this might be all over the place. I might just show little clips here and there. Obviously never never when doing your product research is everything gonna be clear and straight to the point, but I'm just gonna start here on the Amazon UK bestsellers list. So it ranks the best sellers by each category. And I'm just gonna find a category that I like here on the left. Um, what do I wanna go into? Let's go into Home and kitchen is always an easy one. Let's go to the end of the page. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. I try to look for someone who isn't just a large name brand. It's tough to say. What's this? Now this looks like a large name brand. 
Let's go back. I always like to try the sports and outdoors category. Flip through until I find someone that doesn't look like a large retail seller or like they're a big company selling. Ah, sure, let's try this guy. Tekken, if it, one new. Okay, so this looks like it is a private label seller rather than a big large corporation or something like that, which is good because what we're going to do is go to the sold by here. Of course, this is a decent product, but it's probably way too competitive. So um, we're not going to look at resistance bands, but what we are going to do is check out this seller themselves, go to their product page and see what they sell. So currently they only sell three products. They have their resistance bands. They have these premium hip circle glute activation band. Okay, so it's one large band and premium pain relief compression socks. Okay, the only one that kind of interests me is this glute activation band. So maybe we can quickly look at that. So you can see here, they're actually ranked quite high for this one. Um, some of these are just normal resistance bands, but some of these are actually the, uh, the same thing. So let's check out Jungle Scout for this one. Price is fairly low. However, this is Great Britain pounds. So let me quickly convert that. Let's just say what's 10 GBP. Okay, so that's like 14 US dollars, 18 Canadian dollars, not bad. Um, actually sales through here, they're fairly low, but obviously if you got into the top 10 or so, you could sell fairly well. Um, reviews are very nice and low. And I bet you the profit is quite good because it's just one band, they're probably fairly cheap. I mean, I could quickly look on Alibaba. Okay, so you can see they're around two US dollars, two US dollars. So these things probably cost you two US dollars to buy from Alibaba per unit. And, you know, they're selling for 14 US dollars or so, depending on which one you get, maybe more, maybe less. Um, you know, this isn't the best product in the world because the sales aren't that high. However, you could um, put this product in there, maybe improve it or throw an add-in in there. I don't know what type of add-in. Maybe you'd want to throw like a, an exercise guide or something in there. Um, who knows, but there is, there's a room in this. You could probably get 50 to 150 sales a month and probably profit seven or eight US dollars per sale. So that's a, that's a fine product. Obviously this wouldn't be like the top of my list. I'd look for a little bit more sales, but Obviously, it's very easy to rank for. The reviews are very low, and it looks, you know, like there's opportunity in this uh, market. Um, let's keep looking though, because that's not my favorite product ever. And then what I like to do is just keep clicking on guys and sold by Peak Sup Supplements. Let's check them out. Okay, so they're just pretty much strictly supplements but they do have the odd thing here. You see here, they do have this massage ball. So let's check that out. Okay, so we have uh, these spiky massage balls and some of them are just the normal lacrosse massage balls. Check them out on Jungle Scout. Um, okay, so tons of sales, of course but the price is fairly low, so not much room for profit. And the reviews, they're okay. Um, you could probably get into this niche and profit, you know, like $3 a sale. I don't know if that would be worth your while, but um, lots of depth of sales. Um, reviews aren't that crazy high, and I don't think these would be too uh, expensive to source from Alibaba. So you could probably do this product successfully. like. I'm sure I could turn this into a $500 a month profit 
maybe more if, if you ever worked your way up to the top of the page here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this could turn in, I mean, these guys are probably making four, 4,000 pounds profit or maybe 3,000 pounds profit. So that's like five grand American a month profit they're pulling in. Um, not that you'd necessarily be that high, but even if you're selling 100 and you're in this range, that's, you know, 600, 700 US dollars profit probably. Um, and then basically just keep going on, right? So this is obviously a private label seller. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, so he's got the, uh, the muscle roller sticks. I've seen those before. Let's check it out on Jungle Scout. The price looks very good. Looks like they're making quite a bit of profit because you got to think a lot of these prices are like 18 to $20. Um, a decent amount of sales. They're fairly deep. However, some of these guys have too much reviews. So I'm not so sure I would want to compete with them. However, if you could get in the first page, which you could do after a while, um, after enough promotions and whatnot, there is lots of room for profit here. So this guy's pulling in 7,000 uh, pounds per month. And I'm sure the profit margin is actually quite high because uh, let's check these on Alibaba. Muscle roller stick. Okay, how much do these cost? One to five dollars. Two to eight dollars, that's not very specific. So you're probably gonna pay about, maybe after some negotiation, two dollars and fifty cents a unit. And where was I? These things, let's say, so this guy's 14 bucks. 14 is almost 20 US dollars or 25 Canadian dollars. So this guy's pulling in big profit. Um, a lot of these guys are making good money on their uh, roller sticks. So even if you're selling 100, they're probably making 10 US dollars profit at least on some of these units. And that's an easy thousand bucks. Um, yeah, I think you guys probably get the idea of how easy this is. It's not like you have to find the most perfect product. Once you find a product that has a decent enough profit margin, all you really need to do is get in there and if it has enough profit margin, if you can't sell at a good price, then lower your price and make only a few dollars a sale or $2 per sale, you're still profiting and you're gonna sell because you're cheaper than them. Alternatively, what you can do with a product like this is add something in because these are all the same for the most part. I mean, they're all just a roller stick. So, okay, we can see what this guy did. What do you do? He a foam roller, massage stick, massage ball, spiky ball, carry case, and email instructions. So he's bundled them up into a 20 pound um, thing. And which one was he? Steel man strength, let's check him out. He's selling 118 a month. So he's bringing in, I don't know, three and a half K US dollars um, in sales, which is probably one and a half K or so American profit. And all he did was just bundle this. Yes, I mean, all that stuff is gonna be more expensive if it comes together like that. But um, I think a lot of people are overanalyzing. Just get in there, get in there with a product that is good, make improvements on it and choose a product with a good profit margin and you're usually gonna be pretty damn good. Um, a lot of these guys are making some good money just by, you know, I'm sure they, a lot of these private label sellers did the same thing that I just did. They just noticed that there was a little bit of opportunity in the market. I mean, some of these guys have 39 reviews, six reviews, six reviews. So obviously they're selling well. And uh, basically all you guys gotta do is the exact same that they're doing. Just find a way to improve or make yours a bit different or just realize that you might have to sell for lower profit margin than you'd like at the start to start get ranked on, uh, on that page. So that was much easier than I expected it to be. I found like three products and obviously none of these are perfect, but the product doesn't need to be perfect. You just need to find a decent product with Jungle Scout. So it's as simple as that guys. Um, I hope that you guys learn something from that video and just realize that product research isn't as scary as everyone seems to make it out to be. So um, if you guys are new here, I do Amazon videos every Tuesday. And if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. 
I will continue to do this. If you guys have any video suggestions, uh, sometimes I'm stuck on what you guys actually want to learn from me because typically um, once you've watched my channel for six months, that means that you've probably launched a product by now and therefore you probably don't need all the beginner tips that I'm giving. So if you guys want more advanced stuff or whatever, just let me know and I'll try to get to that stuff. But uh, I'll sign off for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.